Hello my sweets, it's Keisha. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you consider subscribing. Today I've joined with some of my talented YouTube friends to bring you a nailed it or failed it challenge, where we choose a decor item and dupe it for less. So when you're done watching my video, be sure to check out the playlist linked in the description box below. I'm so excited to share how I duped this farmhouse bicycle wall decor using only Dollar Tree items. And for your convenience, if you just want to buy it, there's a link for it in the description box below. To begin, you're going to need a couple of things. A piece of paper that's large enough to accommodate uh, your circle or your half circle, a ruler, um, a pencil. I'm going to be using a Sharpie in this case so that you can see it. Um, a push pin and a piece of twine, thread, yarn, um, whatever you can get your hands on. Uh, now what I'm, what I need is a half of a 16 inch diameter circle. I think that's what I decided. Yes. And so the first thing I'm going to do is mark out a line here. That's 16 inches. And then I'm going to mark the center point right here. Move the ruler out. Now I already took the time to tie the knot where I needed it uh, for time purposes, but you want to tie it so that these are, are approximately eight inches apart from this point, this point to the point of where your uh, writing tool is going to land on the paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in. Place my push pin on the midpoint here and the Sharpie eight inches away. And you just wanna to try to keep it straight up and down. And this doesn't need to be perfect. This is basically a template. As you can see, mine got a little bit jiggly on the side because the, the twine caught up on my finger. I'm gonna keep that open. So, the next thing that I'm going to do is bring out this hula hoop. Now I'm kind of limited on space, which is why I have already taken it apart. Um, but this is the fun hoop and it is the one of the smaller ones at 20.5 inches. I've taken off the decorative paper that was on it and then I poured out the weights that were in there. So what I'm gonna do now is take my hula hoop and kind of just mold it around. And this doesn't have to be exact. And there may be an easier way to do it, but I'm not a math person, if I'm being completely honest. And so if you know of a better way to do it, by all means, do it how it would be easier for you. So now at this point, I'm just molding it and holding it around this circle here. And once I get it to where it kind of matches up, I'm going to hold this side steady and while releasing this side. And then I'm gonna just place a mark here of where I'm going to cut it. So now I'm gonna take out my 
board here to cut on. And I'm just gonna, here's my mark. So I'm going to cut this by this mark. You just wanna be careful because this plastic is pretty hard. So what I've done here is I've taken my wire cutters and just nipped out a little area here. And then I took it and pushed that tab inside. I did that on both sides. So what I have here is a piece of wire that is about as long, um, it's about 18 inches, 16 inches, 18 inches long. And I've tied a loop on the end of it, twisted a loop, and I'm now going to turn this into a needle to fish this twine through. So I'm going to tie it on the end here and then I'm going to stick this in there and you'll notice that I have kinks in here too. I had to do that to accommodate the next step. So what I'm going to do is push this past that kink until I can see it coming out of the other side. So now I can untie the needle and then what I'm gonna do is actually tie this twine together. So next what I'm gonna do is ouch. slide this so the knot is down at one end. And trim these off. So then what I'm going to do is place some hot glue on these knots here and then slide this knot so it's hidden down inside of here. What I have here is a scrap piece of foam core and what I'm going to do with it is take this bowl also from Dollar Tree and just trace a circle out with it and then I will be cutting it in half now this is uh, going to serve as the area where the spokes connect to the frame of the wheel. So this is what we have. Next I'll be preparing the uh, tire here for the spokes around in this area. Um, I am going to be using these skewers and what I want to do is uh, drill holes and I have uh, pre-marked the areas here where I want to um, drill the holes. Now I did not do any type of measurements. This is pretty much an eyeball situation. So I've prepared my drill and I have a 1 8 uh, drill bit. And so I'm going to be drilling just into the this portion of it. I'm gonna try my best not to come out through the backside. So 
So the next thing I want to do uh, with this is to go ahead and start uh, putting, getting the spokes assembled uh, inside of the uh, tire here. So I am going to need to cut these uh, skewers down because otherwise they'll be too long to accommodate uh, this piece of foam, which isn't connected. It's just sitting here on the table, um, on the mat, excuse me. So what I'm going to be doing is kind of trimming these down, but I wanted to keep the pointy side so that that could help pierce through the foam and down into it a little ways. So at this point, I'm just measuring uh, where it is that I need it to be, and then I'm gonna cut it, and then I'm gonna use um, a little bit of hot glue on the end and stick it into this hole. Now I'll be adding the foam core uh, half circle that we cut a little bit earlier. Um, I decided I am going to use both pieces. These were a little, they're a little bit thick. So what I've done is I've kind of pinched them to compact the foam in the middle a little bit. And then I'm going to actually sandwich the pieces of excuse me <clears throat> excuse me I'm so sorry the pieces of skewer in between the two so I did go ahead and make little tick marks as to where I need to glue the skewers down at on here so what I'm gonna do to begin is glue down the actual twine to the foam and then glue down the skewers to where they need to be and then glue this second piece on top. Okay. And that's what we have. All right, so the next portion that we're gonna be working on is the actual, I guess you would call it the body and the handlebars of um, the bicycle. And what I'm using here is this butterfly net that you can get at the Dollar Tree. It's um, Backyard Travels. And it's actually the squarish looking round one. Um, I know they have a round one and then this one that's shaped like this. Uh, this is the one um, that I think would be best suited for this project. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the uh, netting and then remove this plastic stuff off of the handle here. Okay, so I've removed the net and the next thing that I'm going to do is cut this wire here. Um, I'm cutting it in half. I measured from here out here to the center. And I just have a little mark here and I'm gonna take my wire cutters and just cut it on that mark. And I'm a little weak sauce, if you haven't noticed yet. So, let's break out these bigger ones. Now these cut on an angle, or supposed to cut on an angle or something, I don't know. But, hopefully these Got it. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Next, I'm going to take this wire and hopefully just twist it so it kind of pokes out back out this way. This portion here um, was held together by this tape originally and I didn't remove it and I'm glad I didn't because I thought it, it might just fall apart. And so it looks like what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna take it apart and put some glue in there. I am gonna remove the tape now and um, put some hot glue in there and then retape it. It's the next day and what I have done is I had uh, glued this with this quick grip uh, beacon. I know I said I was gonna use hot glue but I decided um, I wanted to do something a little bit more sturdy. So I did uh, use the quick grip along with uh, some hot glue in this area and then I rewrapped some uh, masking tape here. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, some rollers here. Uh, I will be using these uh, smaller ones. They do come, I wanted to show you that they do come in two sizes here. Uh, these are from Dollar Tree and they are those uh, foam rollers for the hair. So I thought this was a better match for the size of um, this portion here. So I'm gonna set those to the side and get these opened up. Okay, so for these, these are really easy to take apart. You just wanna slide it the roller part down and then remove this little plastic cap and then just pull the other side out and then you have this little wire here so the idea is to me, um, bring this around here I apologize my workspace is quite small um, but you want to feed this around here and down. So now what I'm gonna do is come back around with some hot glue and kind of secure these. So we don't have them sliding around too much. So I'm going to put some hot glue here. And just slide this down over it. I'm also going to come here and get these areas as well. Okay, so this is what you should have so far. Okay, so next I'm gonna be using this jump rope. Um, I've already cut the handles off of it. This, these are the parts that we're gonna need from this. So I'm gonna set the other pieces to the side and bring this back in. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and attach these here and just push them up over those rollers. This is feeling a little 
this fell in just a little bit too flimsy for my liking. So I'm gonna see about adding another piece in here to see if that'll help. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is take this roller and cut it like this. So let's poke this in here. And then I'm going to double it over and see if that helps. Yes, and it feels a lot more sturdy. Okay, so I would like to. take this back out. Looks like I'm going to demolish it here. Oh, come on. Okay, I guess it's not going to come back out. So we'll just leave it in there like that. And I'll probably just, no, not probably. I will go ahead and just put a little bit of hot glue in there to kind of, you want to be careful because this is kind of disintegrating here because I keep touching it with the tip. Not so much the glue is making it melt, but when I touch it with the tip, it's sizzling up. Okay. <clears throat> so this is, I don't know what it's looking like on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the other side. The next thing I wanna do is to attach the wheel onto the actual bike structure. And I'm going to use a combination of things um, to get this on here. I'm gonna be uh, using some zip ties. <clears throat> Also some of this quick grip glue and hot glue. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start with the zip ties. And what I wanna do is start by attaching them or attach, yes, attaching them like this. And I'm not going to completely secure them down until I have my placement just right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is set this aside to let the... Um, quick grip set up. I thought I was filming uh, making the fender for the bicycle. Unfortunately, I did not hit record. So I'm just gonna quickly go over the steps of what I did here. So what I did was take my ruler basically and use um, painter's tape and tape this, taped it to the bottle and traced the outline of it onto the bottle. Then I took my um, knife here and cut it just enough to get my scissors in to be able to cut the rest of it with the scissors. So now to make this a little bit more sturdy, I'm going to cut another one, um, another one to layer it up. So I'm going to sort of do the same thing where I tape it down. and then cut it out. So I'm just gonna tape it on the curve. And the reason why I use this bottle is because it has this, the slight curve this way and it had the slight curve this way. So it has a more realistic appearance.
Next thing I'm gonna do here is take this super glue gel and I'm gonna put some dots of it on this and um, stick these two together. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and just shape this here so it's a little bit more rounded. Now, this is a little bit longer than what I needed it to be. So I needed some way to be able to attach it to the actual structure. So I did um, cut this a little bit longer um, to make sure that I would have enough. So I'm gonna bend it at about the six inch. So I should let this, I'm gonna let this set up a little bit more. Some of the super glue just squeezed out of the sides. So it'll be just a moment. I'll let the glue set up a little bit more. And I guess through all the manipulation I was doing, it popped. It takes 24 hours for this super glue gel to cure. Um, but I'm gonna move on. And I, to attach this, I need to cut off some of this plastic. Um, and I did cut it down a little bit more than what it was initially um, because it was just sitting up too high. So I cut this down to three quarters of an inch here. And now I'm gonna cut the sides down um, so that I can glue it to the body here and then use a zip tie um, to further secure it. So first thing I'm going to do is just mark out where I want to cut it down. And I think this is about, this is about center here. And I'm just doing a couple of guideline marks. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And I'm going to take my scissors and snip out this corner here, right here and across this way. Let's test it. I'm gonna loosely fit this zip tie on here. Just gonna cut these edges in a little bit. Just a little. I'm gonna give the super glue another try. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna let this do its thing. I have taken one of these Dollar Tree baskets. It had a handle on it and I removed that and uh, wriggled off the little 
triangle pieces that were right here. Um, I know that they do make them without that now. Um, however, I did not have that on hand, so um, I just used what I had. And this was actually black and I painted, I spray painted it white. I also used uh, one of these wind chimes here um, and I just transformed it by painting it with uh, white uh, Waverly chalk paint and uh, the middle color is maize um, in the Waverly chalk paint as well. So um, this one, this basket here is reminding me of a uh, bike that I had when I was a little girl um, I know some of you may remember these uh, but they had the big white baskets on them with those very fake looking plastic flowers on it and this just reminds me so much of that but kind of a little bit more of an updated look to it so um, I'm very happy with how this came out so um, Next, we'll be applying that to the bike. Before I attach the basket, um, I wanted to let you know that I did go ahead and uh, spray paint the bike. And I'm just trying to get it to where you can kind of see it here. I did spray paint the bike and I used these colors here um, to do that and what I did is basically um, I did it in layers and it wasn't complete solid layers I just went from one color to another color to another color until I was happy with the way it look, looked um, the original piece was a rust color um, of course I could not find um, an actual rust color of paint, so I mixed paints in order to achieve that. To raise up the basket, I did go ahead and add a tumbling tower block here um, so that the basket would sit more upright than at a slant. So now what I'm gonna do is apply the basket using uh, zip ties okay so I put a zip tie here at the top and the second one is right above where that block begins and I've just locked these into place and I feel like this is pretty sturdy on there. I mean, of course, you don't want to put a child in there. <laughs> um, but yes, it'll hold a light objects. And I'm going to cut these, the ends of these zip ties off. And what I'm also going to do is just do a little bit of hot glue on these cut ends. Um, and that's not for security, it's more for uh, safety if you're working in there and your hand or something happens to graze on there, you don't get cu cut by the end of the... Um, zip tie where it was cut off at because those can be pretty sharp. I have been cut with one before, so. Um, so the only thing left to do is um, I'm just gonna come in with some touch up, touch up paints. Um, of course, I'm not gonna use spray paint. That's gonna be a mess. So I'm just gonna uh, use some of the burnt umber. Most of this won't, won't be too visible anyway. It's more of just for me um, so you can choose to do that or not um, but <clears throat> uh, stick around and see how I uh, um, decorate this and see it hung in all of its glory 
I had so much fun creating this bike that we are thinking about making this into an open invite challenge. Is this something you'd be interested in? So what do you think? Did I nail it or fail it? Let me know in the comments below. Here she is decorated for summer on my patio. I used a pillowcase from Dollar Tree to line the basket. Then I used green hydrangeas, also from Dollar Tree. The yellow sunflowers, buttercup roses, and heather picks are all from Walmart. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications because on Sunday, I'll be showing how I decorate this beauty for the 4th of July. And don't forget to check out the playlist linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and remember, love, inspire, create. See you next time.